China panic. U.S. sends 25 F-22 fighter jets to attack China in the South China Sea. The United States Air Force is sending more than two dozen F-22 stealth fighters to an exercise in the Western Pacific this month. An unusually large deployment of the powerful jets that analysts say sends a strong message to a possible adversary in China. Pacific Air Forces in Hawaii this week said approximately 25 F-22's Raptors from the Hawaii Air National Guard and from Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson, Alaska will deploy this month to Guam and Tinian Islands for Operation Pacific Iron 2021. We have never had this many Raptors deployed together in the Pacific Air Force's area of operations, General. Ken Wilsbach, Pacific Air Force's commander. The F-22s are fifth-generation combat jets, the world's most advanced fighter aircraft incorporating stealth technologies and connecting onboard sensor systems with off-board information systems to give their pilots a detailed view of the battle space. Deploying a large number of F-22s for the exercise sends an immediate message to China at a time when relations are tense over Pacific flashpoints like Taiwan and the South China Sea said Carl Schuster, a Hawaii-based defense analyst and a former director of operations at the U.S. Pacific Command's Joint Intelligence Center. The Pacific Air Force is demonstrating that it can deploy as many or more fifth-generation aircraft into the theater on short notice as China currently has in its entire inventory, he said. Retired Air Force Lieutenant General Dan Fig Leaf said, I'm not in the Department of Defense anymore, so I have no insight into who's messaging whom specifically, we said. But what I would say is if I'm China, I pay attention to the message, whether it's intended for them or not, because this is capability both in the aircraft, the F-22, and the flexibility and expeditionary nature of the U.S. Air Force that goes back to World War I, that they, China, can't duplicate. Leaf added that if he were in China's shoes, I take it as a demonstration of the legitimacy of the American commitment to the region because messaging is one thing when it's just words. But this is not just a statement, it's an investment in capability because it's not cheap to deploy 25 F-22s from two different bases to the Western Pacific. The exercise is held in July. Pacific Air Forces weren't more specific, involves more than 35 aircraft and 800 personnel, and takes place at three airports on Guam and one on Tinian. Although deterrence is the goal, in the event of a conflict with China, aircraft with stealth and advanced sensors such as F-22S, F-35 Lightning IIs, B-2 bombers and, in the future, B-21 Raider bombers 